Okay, let's talk a little bit about how to find uh, the initial velocities in the x and y direction for a projectile that's launched. So we'll draw a level ground here, and we'll draw our picture of a projectile in its arc. And we know that it's going to end up making this sort of parabolic path, but what we're going to do is we're going to look at it right at the instant of launch. When it takes off at launch, it's taking off at one specific angle, theta, and it's got some velocity v. Well, what we want to know is we want to know the initial velocity in the x direction, and I'll go ahead and, and sort of match it up here. So I need to know my initial velocity in the x direction, and that also has an initial velocity in the y direction. So how do we do that? Well, we just simply uh, do our calculation on this thing. So um, the initial velocity in the x direction is going to be equal to the cosine of the angle times the initial velocity. And the initial velocity in the y direction is going to be equal to the sine of theta times the initial velocity. And it's just as simple as that. So again, that would be if V0 is velocity at the start, V0 in the X direction is velocity in the X direction horizontally, V0Y is velocity initially in the y direction. And remember, these are all going to change um, other than the x direction. The x velocity should stay this constant, but our y velocity is going to decrease as it goes up, and it's going to increase as it falls back down. And then remember that theta is just the angle of our launch. And that's how you break down a projectile problem uh, when it is launched and it's going to land at the same level as you did it. We can do more complex problems later, but that's the way to break it down to start.